morning my friends I hope you're all doing well for today for Friday's free flow um, I want to make some vintage tags now I got this um, very vintage looking uh, magazine at the thrift store yesterday uh, it is kind of completely torn apart it is in German and it is uh, from 1947 and it was only 10 cents so but there are some very beautiful items in here that i want to use and i thought that was a really good deal even the front um vase with flowers very beautiful so i will just kind of flip through this and then i will um show you what i want to uh create out of it today Now these pages are super fragile, but I really love <clears throat> the aged paper. That will be perfect for any kind of vintage um, uh, crafting that you want to do. Now, I don't think that really matters if it's written in German. I don't even know what this book is um, about. Now, I used to be able to read German quite nicely. Um... That was way back in the day when I went to school and I went to a German school. But you know how they say it, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? And I have definitely lost it. I can, if it's not written in this fancy type of uh, lettering, then I can read it somewhat. But definitely not with the fancy um, lettering. I know there's a name for it, I just can't think of it right now. But these pages will be perfect to just tear out, fold, and put in my vintage journal. So, hmm, you see these ladies in here? This is what I want to cut out and make tags out of. And uh, make some vintage tags. Then there's a few more in here. I will just flip through this uh, magazine all the way. I know some people would be interested in seeing it. And here's a few more. It looks like it's patterns for sewing maybe. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be able to cut some of these out as well to use for tags. I think that is the only two pages. I will be using all the pages, but that is the two pages that I want to use. There you go. And also, I have, I know I have shown this on a past video but I have a very old um, Eaton's catalog from 1939 to 1940 and I want to make some paper doll dolls um, out of some of the images in here and I'll be doing that on a different video but that is the plan um, if you're interested in seeing a flip through of this uh, vintage Eaton's catalog I did make a video out of it and I'll leave the video link down below. I don't know. I just absolutely love old um, books and old images. Have always. Um, if I think about it, back in the day, it wasn't uh, not heard of as much that people liked this old stuff. The old stuff usually got chucked or recycled or if you did like old stuff you would almost be made fun of <laughs> at least back in the day um at school I do remember that and who would have ever thought that it would come back in such um style and demand now if you want to buy anything vintage it's very expensive although this magazine was only 10 cents it depends where you go um 
if you would actually go to antique shops now you'd be paying probably a pretty penny for it but our local thrift stores are usually pretty good with prices for for vintage items I had put another bid in at our silent auction um, at our local thrift store for vintage I think they were vintage magazines or books but I didn't uh, I didn't win that bid so bummer kind of lost out on that but that's okay others deserve a chance just as much as I do maybe I should use my trimmer might be able to cut slightly straighter than doing it by hand but if you're like me um, I always don't like to haul it out there is one aren't these ladies just so stylish I just love the, the photo on there I'm going to leave a little bit of that edge on there. We'll start off with these three images and see how far we get. Just put that aside. Now, um, at first I didn't think I had any nice cardstock in, uh, in my craft room, but I did find some. And I started to uh, make tags here, just get a little bit of a head start. I actually, <laughs> I was going to do it offline at first, but then decided that I wanted to videotape this. Why not? Now, I am hoping to get a different background um, in the near future for doing my crafting. Um, I'm just going to use the back of this. Because I find that the white, my white table, my white crafting table, it just kind of, a lot of items just blend right in. And then I feel like um, the viewers can't see it as clear what I'm doing because it just all blends in. I don't know. I have thought about ordering or buying some, um, some kind of paper. I was about to say wallpaper but it's not wallpaper it's paper that you use for maybe in drawers or on furniture and then um, take and uh, put a piece on my white table so that uh, you would be able to see it um, a little bit better I just don't know what kind of background to go for what color if you have a suggestion on what color would work best for a background um, so that whatever I'm doing pops out more I would love to hear from you I would love to know because I don't know I just don't know what would pop the best I just kind of want to mark where I should um, cut because this one this tag the first tag I did has quite a bit of border but that's okay I'm going to be doing something with that I just want to have a little bit of a mark on on where to cut I guess I have uh, I have this piece left over oh that is too short yeah that's it. it's too short okay that's okay I'll just cut another one I can use that piece for something else just going to go ahead and cut my top here first just so that make my tag tag topper so to speak I guess mm -hmm. I haven't used this very often yet I got it from the thrift store some time ago so 
I'm still kind of learning how to use it. So what are your plans for the weekend? I'm not. Oh, I do know. <laughs> I think my daughter um, is coming over later on, I think, I believe. And then uh, tomorrow, Saturday, we have my husband's Christmas work banquet. Right? It's kind of really late. <laughs> but they always seem to have it after Christmas. I guess it is... Um, <clears throat> Christmas is always such a busy season that they just decided to have it after Christmas. Maybe it's just easier to, uh, to have it then. To book something. But I'm looking forward to it. Going out and having a nice meal. That I didn't have to cook, right? I don't know if you enjoy watching the whole process of this, but I thought I would take you along. This one will be a wider tag. It's quite a bit wider than than these, <clears throat> but that's okay. We sometimes need the wider tags, right? Oh, okay. So it's too wide to put in here. So I think I'm going to trim her down slightly so that I can still create my tag because I don't have a bigger tag puncher. Now I know I could just make my own but I really like this um the style with the rounded um, edges. I think it looks very vintage and I just really like the look of it. So I think I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. Okay I got it all trimmed off now to make it fit. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I didn't have it stuck in there far enough. Hmm, I think I didn't trim it far enough. I gotta trim it a little bit more. There you go. I may have trimmed it a little bit too far, I'm not sure, but that's okay. It will work out just fine. Ooh. I have a question for all my viewers here. What is your favorite glue to use for um, crafting, for just anything regular? I do have uh, the quick drying tacky glue, and I have all kinds of different kind of tacky glue as well. But... I almost feel like I like glue sticks better because they're not as messy. But I would love to know what your favorite glue is to use um, for crafting. Of course I got it on there a little bit crooked. Oops, I think I was off camera there a little bit. There you go. Now we've done, we've made three tags and now we are going to take and decorate them a little bit. I do want to take and uh, distress them each a little bit because I feel like anything you do vintage um, needs to have a little bit of distressing. Hmm, 
does this one need a little more trim? I don't know. I do have a bit of another idea that I want to do on here. Oh goodness, I need to go do my my grocery shopping today. Oh goodness, I, I don't look forward to going to the supermarket on a Friday, but it is what it is, right? But the bonus of it is um, on Fridays, one of our thrift stores puts out new crafts. So then I'm like, oh, okay, then I look forward to it because then I can go get my groceries and then I can uh, take and um, stop at the thrift store right away and see if I can find anything. Okay. So what I want to do, <clears throat> I'm thinking about stamping a little bit on the edges now i don't know if i will ruin it or not i'm gonna give it a try <clears throat> and see what happens i'm just gonna do it on one first just to see if uh if i like it or if i have ruined it and i think i'm going to do the stamp on this one just to see how it will turn out Hopefully I don't ruin it, but if I do, I do. It's not like I paid a lot of money for these, right? But you also don't want them to be ruined. Okay, so that looks nice, but the one side didn't get any. So I'm going to just give the one side another... stamp here there you go bottom a little bit more now don't ask me where I got the stamp most likely at the thrift store <clears throat> where I get most of my stuff from okay I actually like that I like it with the stamp on there what do you think? Now the paper dolls that I want to make really soon, um, they will, I can't wait to show you, but I watched a video on this and uh, where you make them skirts out of lace. Oh, I'm excited about it. <clears throat> but I don't have enough time today to do that. But I will definitely do that on a different video soon. Okay, so which one? Do you like better? Do you like the stamped one better or the plain one better? I almost like the stamped one better. So I think I'm going to stamp the rest of them. And then here where I'm getting a bunch of stamp on, I can always reuse that paper for something else. I'm going to use a different stamp for this one. There you go. Yes, I like that. And I think I'm going to do just the sides on this one. And then I'm going to try and get that, that corner right on here. There, I like that. Yes, I do. Wow, I like how that turned out. Definitely. Oops, sorry. I like that. And I always get myself so full of ink when I do stamping. Okay, where is my other one? Maybe I'll see what else I have for stamps. I do have another one that has different um, um, font, so I'm going to try that. Yep, I do like that. Look at that. Very nice.
Perfect. I like that. Just going to clean up here a little bit. There, I put them on a darker background. That way you can uh, you can see them a little bit better than if they are on a white background. Now, I did a little bit of distressing on this lace, just slightly, just so that it isn't quite as white. And I'm going to uh, put them in my tags. Just for a little extra fun. I think that will look very lovely. I do like how they are looking. They are going to be so fun to use in my vintage journal that I want to create. Do you double knot it when you... I will. I will, just to make sure that it stays on there nicely. There you go. That one is... <clears throat> Goodness, I am so excited to uh, to find some time to create all the journals. I have kind of got it started in a plan for them, but uh, I need to have a couple of days of full days of working on them to finish them. And uh, I think I will take you through that process if you would like to see that. I am going to be using a lot of the signatures that I um, won at the silent auction as well as uh, a bunch of different of my own paper that I will be putting in there. Now they turned out quite lovely I think and uh, they were quite quick to make and uh, so fun to make as well. Use any images from magazines. They don't have to be black and white. They don't have to be vintage. You can use anything from any magazine really. But I was just very blessed to have found that vintage um, magazine for 10 cents. So, And uh, there was another page in there that I can use for <clears throat> making more tags. So it's definitely worth it. It's almost like free, right? <laughs> um, thank you for being here. Um, I also wanted to just say that I am collecting 100 words for um, the hill hashtag Hillside Heart Prompts. Um, by Caroline um, on the hill and uh, I am needing quite a few more words uh, just random words really uh, to give me ideas on creating um, junk journal pages so if you think of any words that you would like for me to use um, in my journal for making different pages please leave them down below I would love that and appreciate that and if you're new to my channel welcome I am so glad that you are here I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers I am almost there, so, well, almost, and yet not. <laughs> um, if you're new, please subscribe, share my channel with your family and friends and your fellow crafters, and I really appreciate you being here. <clears throat> I hope you will all have a wonderful, safe weekend, and we'll see you really soon. Bye.